We've seen massive demand for IP address space in 2010. Every single device, being a computer or consumer electronic device connected to the internet, need to have a unique identifier. And today we use IP version 4. There are almost 7 billion people on the planet. There are about 3.7 billion IPv4 addresses available. We've got a bit of a mismatch. About 5% of the IPv4 address space is unallocated, and that's expected to be allocated by the middle of 2011. It has been predicted for many, many years that at some point we will exhaust that space, and here we are. In order to continue the expansion of the internet, we're going to need more IP addresses, and that's where IPv6 comes in. So we're not simply talking about connecting every human, we're talking about connecting potentially every smart device on the planet. So we are going to need much, much more number of addresses, and that's why IPv6 is so important. This is an important time in the internet evolution, but this is not like the sky is falling. This is part of a normal evolution of the internet where we have some of the disruptive technology will arrive and we have to look at business a little bit differently. If you're serving content over IPv4, you want to make sure that you're also able to serve that content over IPv6. So you should look at incrementally introducing IPv6 into the service delivery part of your network. The revenue streams today are based on IPv4. The entire internet is built on IPv4. The devices in the home are IPv4, the content is IPv4. If you've implemented IPv4 on your network, you're not going to have to work very hard to understand IPv6 and be able to implement IPv6 on your network. So we have technologies that will leverage one to help the other. And the technologies known, for example, as DS Lite, Dual Stack Lite, were enable to offer an IPv4 service when you build an IPv6 infrastructure. If you have a, a regular technology refresh cycle, this shouldn't be a big deal for you. In Juniper's perspective, what is really important in moving toward IPv6 is to maintain the access to IPv4 services, but making sure that the introduction of IPv6 and the continuation of IPv4 service can coexist for a number of years. And you can go to www.juniper.net forward slash IPv6 to find more information about IPv6 and transition technologies.